Oh God, Gainer's coming. And she's rattling the pole by bouncing on the pontoon. So that's this recording over till Gainer stops walking. Right, we've had um, a few questions recently about our dinghy salty sausage and how we mount her on the stern of the boat. So we've decided to do this little extra to show you exactly what we currently do. Um, there will be a little sting in the tail to this because although this method works quite well for us, we're on the verge of changing it. So for the time being, I've dropped salty sausage down into the water. Um, normally when we mount her on, um, things like the seat and the oars would be taken off before we lift the dinghy up. So she's sitting currently just behind our swim platform. And um, what we do is we have a bridle which we attach to this little point here, which goes through to the transom. And there is another one on the other side. You can see them. They are just below the back stays, which are here. And we have some dinghy fenders, which we put between the back stay and the little fitting. And what that does is when the dinghy is mounted up here, it stops the dinghy rubbing on the back stay, which would maybe puncture it. Another little adaptation that we've put in and I know some people have seen them, is what I call the training wheels because they remind me of the things that kids get on their bikes when they're learning to um, start riding um, bicycles. These are just nylon wheels, they don't have to be any particular thing. Uh, we've taken a 10 or 12 centimetre length of studded stainless steel rod and used nylock bolts just to mount this through the swim ladder. And this is where the swim ladder swings down um, into the sea, but it means that when we're lifting the dinghy up, it can ride over the swim ladder without touching it or any of its bolts. Now, like they say on all the best game shows, my delightful assistant here will now show, will now show you the prizes on this week's show. And this particular one is the dinghy hoist. Oh, the, well, this particular one's actually the bridle, which I'll put on the deck and show to you in just a minute. But this is a strap we put under the dinghy and then it is connected to a block up here if you would be so kind, oh glorious assistant, um, which we then use to put up. Now this particular line runs all the way to the top of our mast. It doesn't do anything, it's just attached to the top of the mast. It's the, the pulley here that does all the work. You don't actually need this to make the system work. You could just pull the dinghy up because that's only used for securing it when we're at sea. We actually pull it up manually by hand using the bridle that Gainer's holding. So this is the bridle spread out on a pontoon. These attachment points are what goes into the, um, the little hard points I showed you earlier. And the dinghy would go in this area here, in the water. This would come up over the sponson. And then we use this line to pull the dinghy up onto the stern. No, it doesn't. We had a problem with our audio, so I will use a voiceover for this bit. These are the two hooks on the bridle. And they go over the little ring bolts I showed you earlier. Then I drop the bridle into the water, keeping hold of the painter, and I pop myself into the dinghy. Sorry the dinghy is facing the wrong way, just work with me here. So now I have the bridle coming under the dinghy and you can see it here. Yeah. This is where it comes up. So I make sure I do not let go of this because it is holding the bridle. Step out of the boat. Just get her positioned exactly where I want her and up against the training wheels. I would normally lift the step out but I can do it with the step in place. And then use this rope to hoist salty sausage up. Lift her over the training wheels and she's up. Normally, at this point, we would attach this line, but I can secure it with the painter for now. Dinghy is now aboard. We take the fore and aft lines and we lash them to the rails. When she's lashed to the rails on both sides and with the bridle secure, the sausage is on salty lass and we're ready for sea. Right. So if you do fit one of these, all we do is we just put it through the bridle ring and hoist it up like that.
like that, and it locks salty sausage into place. And we just tie this round there with a round turn and a couple of half inches. Or possibly three of them. But if you don't have this, you can just take the bridle line and secure it to something else on the boat. I secured it earlier when you were watching to this area down here. I just tied it around that a few times like so. Round turn a couple of half inches. But steering lines we would normally not have here. We would normally have them coming through the handle, round the handle a few times, round this a few times and a clove hitch. Same for the four line. It would come up. Same for the four line. It would come up. Um, possibly put it through this securing ring here on the dinghy and then pull the hitch in the handle and that is usually salty sausage secured for sea. Now I'm not going to do all that because in a minute or two I'm going to drop her back down because we're working on the boat today and uh, that's why she was off the stern. But that is how we secure salty sausage to the back of the Bavaria 36. Gainer has just pointed out to me this is a perfect moment to do the whole thing backwards yeah. and explain how we get salty sausage off the boat and into the water yeah. and oddly enough it's the exact reverse of what I've just done <laughs> so for my own convenience I'm going to take the back step out right that's that job done uh, normally we would loosen the ropes that would be tied here but they're not tied here uh, but normally they would be I would loosen them first and I always keep them tied to the rail so when I kick the dinghy off the back she can't go anywhere she's still attached to the boat do it on the stern, do it on the headline. That way when she goes over, she'll lie flat in the water behind us. So I'm just going to undo the bridle line. And I can't claim any wisdom for this bridle. We didn't make it, it came with the boat. So I've no idea whether the previous owners had it made up or it came with something else. I just don't know. Uh, it didn't come with this dinghy because we got the dinghy separately because of course we lost our dinghy on day one and there's an episode which you can see up there that tells you all about it. Anyway, I'll take out my round turn and two half hitches. And I'll just remove the securing rope. But as you can see, even without this line, she sits pretty much as she is. It doesn't actually require an awful lot to keep her aboard. You know, it's, it's quite straightforward. When she's leaned forward like this, she just more or less stays where she is. And if she's lashed to the two rails, she ain't going anywhere. So this extra line that we have up to the mast, it's nice to have, but you can manage without it. Anyway, getting her off the boat is just the reverse. You unsecure all the lines. You make sure you've got the bridle. You literally just walk down onto the platform, tip her over the back, and let her go. And this line, make sure she doesn't go anywhere, as does that line. Salty sausage is going nowhere. All you have to do now is get the bridle off. So to get it off, all I have to do is get the bridle back from under salty sausage, back aboard. And that is the world's easiest thing to do. You simply undo that one. Undo that one. Make sure they're clear of the training wheels or any other obstructions. And then quite simply, you just drop them in the water. Okay, they get soaking wet, but it's easy. Well, I like easy. Easy's good. So that's it. She is back in the water. All I have to do now is fit the seat, fit the oars, put the engine on, and we're good to go.